Hi, I'm Harold Smith. This is number two uh, video that I'm making on my leak uh, genealogy. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you about Bess of Hardwick. She was born in 15, uh, 1521, and when she died in 1608, she was the richest woman in England. And just a fascinating story, she's my cousin. Last time I told you how I was related to uh, uh, Princess Diana uh, through my Leek uh, family. And here again, this is a, a, a very important person uh, and uh, lived in the 1500s. And as I told you before, it's all through the Leek family. My grandmother was Fleeta Lou Leek. And I, as I told you last time, I traced my genealogy back uh, to my 25th great-grandfather, Alan of Lee. And so now I'm gonna to talk to you about my, my 14th great-grandfather, who was William Lee, and he had a son, Thomas. He was my uh, 12th great-great-uncle, and then his daughter was Elizabeth Lee, and she was my first cousin, 12 times removed, Elizabeth Lee. 1521, and she's best known in history as Bess of Hardwick. And the whole book is written about her, and I'm not gonna go into all the details, but I just want you to, uh, I'm doing this for my grandchildren, my family, my cousins, uh, those in the family who are interested in, in genealogy, or anybody else, uh, just what a fascinating story, my leak heritage, because they were involved in the nobility, particularly uh, Bess. She lived in the times of Henry VIII, uh, King uh, Edward uh, the, uh, the VI, then uh, Mary I, also known as Bloody Mary, and then Elizabeth I. Uh, so, and, she, and the significance of Bess, she has just a, such a fascinating life. I wish I had time to go into all of it, but you can Google it, it's on YouTube. There's many articles and YouTube articles on Bess of Hardwick. And those of you who are interested in our genealogy, I'd encourage you uh, uh, to Google and, uh, and do some research of your own. I just wanna make you aware of this lady, Bess of Hardwick, she's my cousin. She was uh, uh, in her, had very, interesting interrelations between Queen Elizabeth number one, Mary, Queen of Scots, and then Bess of Hardwick. Three powerful women during the Elizabethan uh, age and the, the Tudor society. Uh, Bess, uh, she was friends with Queen Elizabeth. In fact, she was a member of the Privy Chamber. And this is a a group of ladies of nobility who were associates and, and uh, companions to Elizabeth I and helped her with her uh, uh, dressing and jewelry. And uh, so she had great access to Queen Elizabeth I. They were great friends. Then there were, she's also very involved in Mary, Queen of Scott. Now Mary, Queen of Scott was the Queen of Scotland, but she was dethroned because of a lot of different stories. She even claimed that she was also the Queen of England. So when that she was, uh, she had to escape Scotland. She came to England, and of course, Queen Elizabeth I. She was very dubious of Mary. I mean, because she was a threat. Uh, Mary was a threat to uh, Queen Elizabeth. So Queen Elizabeth had her arrested and under house arrest. And you know who? Mary, Queen of Scott, was in the home for 15 years under house arrest? You guessed it, Best of Hardwick. And uh, uh, just interesting stories. I just wanna make you aware of it. My next session is gonna be on Best of Hardwick's granddaughter, and her name is Arabella. And she married 
into the Stewart family. And, and her, uh, Arabella was in line to be the next queen. And so I'm gonna tell you all about that in our next session. But for right now, I'm gonna uh, give you a, a, a recap of the line between Alan and Lee and my grandmother. And then uh, I will also uh, give you a picture of Hardwick Hall. It's a beautiful building today. And uh, it, it's just, uh, I'm gonna give you a picture of that, but hopefully uh, if you're interested in genealogy, interested in the Leak family, uh, then uh, I encourage you to Google Best of Hardwick, and here's a book uh, that I have uh, uh, read, and also uh, uh, you can probably find it on eBay, and I encourage you uh, to get this if you're interested. So, uh, hope you have a, have a great day. Thank you very much for listening. It's just, I, as you can tell, I am interested in genealogy and finding out my roots. And as I look into the Leak family, particularly for 600 years, from 10,050 all the way through the 1600s, they were intertwined, interwoven uh, into the nobility of England. And it's just, I'm uncovering so many interesting stories of uh, my ancestors. Have a great day. Okay, this is the genealogy of the Leak family. It starts with Alan of Leak, and they spelled it different ways throughout the centuries. Uh, this is L-E-K-E, -E, then uh, Harold of Leak, and as you see, it uh, comes on down through all the generations and uh, comes each generation is documented and uh, all the way down to Harold Wayne Smith. And uh, that is the genealogy of the Leak family. Uh, going back all the way back to 1050. Uh,